Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Mari Wendy. Uh, you can now talk. Can you talk? Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? So, hello. How are you, Maria, Wendy? Hello, Carlos Adolfo. Good hello, evening. Hello, hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, How thank you. Everything? You? Okay. Fine. Everything good so far? Okay, so what do you remember about yesterday? Something you remember about yesterday? ¿Qué se acuerda de ayer? Something? Any idea? Mm -hmm. Estuvimos hablando de auxiliar de. Ah, yes. De, de los verbos y de. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿Sí? yes. Excelente. Eh, del pasado, de, de la Simple. tarea que dejó, sobre la niñez y todo eso. Ah, yes, it's true. Uh -huh. uh, homework, right? About sentences. Homework about sentences. ¿Y cuál era la otra? And the other homework la de, que, de lo que éramos ah, cuando éramos niños, algo así. I am God. Yes, it's true. Uh -huh. About the childhood. It's, yes. yes, it's true. Yes. Ya me acordaba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but now I remember. So, excellent, very good. So, um, Hello, good evening. Hello, Diana, Patricia. You are going to be a listening today? Teacher, because ah. I don't feel good. Sorry? Come? I don't feel good. Ah, okay. So you don't feel good. It's okay. So don't worry, Diana. So Thank it's you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. So yesterday we were talking about uh, also the reduction of this, right? We say, what do you do, right? Decimos, what do you do también, ¿verdad? Very good. And so right now we are going to continue with the unique number nine. But also we are going to work with simple paths as well. Okay. So just give me a second, please. I have some messages here. Okay. Good evening, Carlos Adolfo. Eh, here you have uh, estudio en el trabajo. I'm working. Okay, Ricardo Villoso. Okay, Carlos Adolfo. Okay, Ricardo. Adolfo. Okay, give me a second, please. Ya empezamos. Good evening, oh, teacher. Start. Hi, good evening, Karina. How are you today? Everything good? Uh, very good. Ah, okay. Hello. You are in Chalate. Chalatenango, right? Or no? Not Chalate in today. Santa Ana. Santa ah, in Santa Ana. Ah, that's nice. Very good. Sana Ana. Solo que de domingo a jueves vivo en el campo y viernes, sábado y domingo en la ciudad. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. That's nice, very good. It's good to know. Okay, excellent, very good. So I I want to show you so a conversation about simple bus, but just give me a second, please, because I'm looking for the information. Okay, so uh, yesterday we were talking about the simple past, right? Again, about the simple past. Because the simple past, I think it's something important for you to know because we have a many regular and irregular verbs, right? So I think it's re really important to know about the simple past. Okay. So right now I'm going to show you this conversation. Quiero ver si la pueden ver. The PDF. Just give me a second. I'm, I'm charging the, all the material. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, so here we go. I'm sharing the screen. Can you see the conversation or not yet? Yes, teacher. Okay, so describe past activities, right? It says describe past activities, conversation mo model. So what, what did you do yesterday? Well, I got up at seven, I made breakfast, and then I went to work. What about after work? You do anything special? Not really. I just made dinner and watch a movie. Okay, do you have any question about pronunciation? Ah, pero me voy a abrir el... Give me a second. Okay, here we go. Okay. okay, questions with pronunciation or vocabulary. ¿Tiene preguntas por la pronunciación o el vocabulario? What did you do yesterday, right? So, what did you do? What did you do yesterday? La pronunciación que estábamos viendo ayer. So, what, what did you do? do? Yes, ahorita. Yes. So, what did you do yesterday? Then you have a... 
this is the unit seven. So what did you do yesterday, right? Okay, give me a second. Now listen the pronunciation of this conversation. Listen. No lo escucha todavía. No, teacher. So what did you do yesterday? Well, I got up at seven. I made breakfast and then I went to work. What about after work? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just made dinner and watched a movie. Okay, now listen one more time, please. Give me, uh, okay, lo voy a dar más volumen. Okay, aquí tiene todo el volumen. So now uh, you can listen it or you can't. Give me a second. Are you es que se escucha ruido de tele. Ajá. Ok. Yes. No. Ok. Ok. Here we go. Listen one more time. Page 91. Now you can describe past activities. Exercise 1. Conversation model. Read and listen. So what did you do yesterday? Well, I got up at 7. I made breakfast. And then I went to work. What about after work? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just made dinner and watched a movie. Okay, so you have over there the pronunciation, right? So what did you do yesterday? Here in the pronunciation, what did you do? What did you do yesterday? I got up. I got up. Me levanté a las siete. I got up at seven. I made breakfast and then I went to work. What about? What about after work? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just made dinner and watched a movie. Question with vocabulary? No, no questions. No? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna, yes? Okay, now listen and repeat. Va a repetir en su casa. In your house, you're gonna repeat. Page 91, exercise two, rhythm and intonation. Listen again and repeat. Hmm. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. Repeat. So what did you do yesterday? Repeat. So what did you do yesterday? Su casa. Well, I got up at so seven, I made breakfast, and then I went to work. What about after work? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just made dinner and watched a movie. Not really, right? Not. Okay, so not really. I just made dinner and watch. Watch, not watch it, verdad? Uh, como les dije, watch. Watch. Lo que terminan en CH, la idea como una que watch. Okay, very good. Okay, so uh, here we go. Um, you're, I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms and you're going to practice this conversation. In the breakup rooms, uh, you're going to practice this conversation. Ah, se le ve borroso. A todos se le ve borroso. <laughs> Yo no entiendo qué dice, teacher, no sé. Ok, ok, espérame, quiero ver. Está borroso. No sé si solo a mí. Ok, era por la señal. I'm going to share it again. Give me a second. Vamos a ver, lo voy a compartir nuevamente. En now. Y ahora aún lo ve borroso. Yes, it's clear. It's clear. Ah, okay, no. right now it's clear. Okay, so repeat that for me. So, what did you do yesterday? So, what did you do yesterday? Well, I got up at seven. Well, I got up at seven. I made breakfast. I made breakfast. And then I went to work. And then I went to work. Okay. What about after work? What about, what about after work? Did you do anything special? Did, Did you do anything, anything special? special? Not really. Not, Not really. really. Not really. Uh -huh. I Not just really. made dinner. I, I just, just made dinner. dinner. I just made dinner. 
En Watch the Movie. En Watch the Movie. En Watch the Movie. Everything in the conversation is clear? Is clear the conversation? Or do you have questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Yes, teacher. It's clear. Okay, now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you're going to practice the conversation. Right now you are 18. So groups of three or four, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm going to open the breakout rooms and you're going to join. Aquí me quedan dos, aquí dos. Please are listening, listening, listening to. Okay, so Elsa Noelia Portillo, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, stay here. Don't go to the breakout room. Florice Mejía también. No, se okay. queda aquí. El breakout room está ahí en el, ¿cómo se llama? Este, en el, en el, en el, en el WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp, you can, you can watch the conversation, okay? So, you're going to practice the conversation. Now, eh, Elsa, Noelia, en Floricia, se quedan aquí. Y ahí los okay. demás, go, go to the breakout rooms. En el room number five, Jaime Iván. Ok, ahí está. En el room number four, eh, ok, Diana Patricia, ahí está. Can you talk, Diana? No. You cannot talk. A ver, ya se fue. Ok, so I'm going to send Ana Ramos. Eh, you have to join to the breakup room number three. Ana Ramos. Ana Ramos. Okay. Join to the break. Ana Ramos se une al breakup room tres. Eh, también Marisol de Los Ángeles, Blanca se salió. <risa> ok, ah, pues este voy a. Voy a... Eh, teacher, a mí me ah. sacó, no sé por qué. Sí, ajá, ya le envié al Breakout Room ah. 3. Gracias, teacher. Ok, so let's see, a Marisol también lo voy a mandar al Breakout Room 3. Ver. So, Ronald, you don't have a, a, a group assigned, right? So, to the Breakout Room 1. Ok, ahí está, ahí hay dos, ahí hay tres, no hay nadie. Ok, so Anderson, hello Anderson, Jeremy, but you cannot listen, right? You cannot talk. Now, Elsa Noelia, right? ¿Quién es tenemos aquí? Right now, ok, can you practice the conversation? Elsa Noelia en Floricia, Mengibar. Ok, Elsa, teacher. Ok, teacher. Elsa, letter A, en Floricia, letter B. Ok. So, what did you do yesterday? Well, I get at, at seven. Mm -hmm. uh, I made breakfast and the... Then I went to work. Mm -hmm. What about after work? Did you go, did you do anything special? No, really. I just made them dinner and watch a movie. Uh, and watch a movie, right? Okay, very good, excellent, that's nice. Okay, uh, Jimas, who else is here right now? So, Imelda, okay, Imelda. Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo and Carla Gabriela, can you practice the conversation? Ingrid Esmeralda and Carla Gabriela? Ah, Carla Gabriela is in the, okay, Carla Gabriela is in, can talk. Ingrid Esmeralda or Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos, can you talk? Hello? Can you talk? Pueden hablar. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. Imelda and Rosa, right? Imelda A and Rosa letter B. Okay. Uh -huh. Rosa, you are letter B. Ah, is listening, right? Yes, it's listening, okay. It's okay. Uh, okay, a volunteer to work with Imelda? Un voluntario que trabaje con Imelda? Me? ¿Puede hablar, Rosa? Yes. Ah, okay. So, Rosa, letter B, Imelda, A. Empieza Imelda, ¿verdad? Eh, no las escuché. <ríe> Empieza oh, Imelda, ¿vea? Sí, Imelda, ajá. Hello, Imelda. You start. Can you start, Imelda? Oh. 
Ok, hello. Creo que Imelda no le sirve el micrófono. Ok, eh, ok. Let's see, can you practice the conversation? Uh, Rosa, empieza Rosa. Rosa Elizabeth, you are letter A. En, uh, quiero ver, let's see. Eh, Floricia, can you talk? Yes, teacher. Ok, email, eh, no, Rosa, letter A, en Floricia, letter B. Ok. Ok. okay. So, what did you do yesterday? Huh? Well, I were at, at seven and made breakfast and the, the I went to work. What Hello. about after work? Did you do anything special? No, really. I just made dinner and um, watch a TV. A movie, perdón. <laughs> okay, watch <laughs> a movie. Yeah, yeah, Polynesia. And watch a movie, okay? So what did you do yesterday? Well, I got up at seven, I made breakfast, and then I went to work, right? What about after work? What about? The pronunciation is, what about? Okay, do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Or no questions? No? No, no. questions? No. ¿Todos practicaron? Did you practice? ¿O hay alguien que no haya practicado? All of you practice. Yes? It's okay? So, en el caso de Imelda, yo no le escuchaba nada. No sé si es su micrófono, Imelda, o la señal. It could be the signal or your microphone, your mic. So, pero no, no le escuché nada. Okay. So, we are going to continue. Sí. Okay. Ahorita, ¿ah? ahorita me escucha. Sí, ahorita sí. Pero ya hace ratito. Es no, que no cuando conecto el como que se me corta. Ajá, quizás sí, ¿verdad? Ok, ok, está bien. So, you have a, the simple past tense, information questions. A las information questions le podemos poner al principio what, where, when, cuándo, o sea, del tiempo, how many, how often, so you have a how often over there, and so who, quién, ¿verdad? Eh, so, I'm going to large, large the picture, okay? So you have a, eh, what did you do last weekend? What did you do? ¿Qué hizo el fin de semana pasado? ¿Verdad? Y contesta con los verbos en pasado. So, where did you go? Where did you go? ¿A dónde fue? When did he get home last night? How many cups of coffee did she drink? How often did you take a nap? Who did they see yesterday? ¿Verdad? Cuando usamos who como sujeto, who went to the mall this morning? We did. ¿Quién fue al, al centro comercial esta mañana? So we did. Irregular verbs. So you have this one. You're going to send the irregular verbs in this part. Just give me a second, please. Quiero ver. Give me a second. Okay, aquí tenemos los irregular verbs. The irregular verbs. Listen and repeat. Buy. Bought. Come. Came. Come. Came. Repítalo en su casa. Cut. 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 Do. Cut. Did. Do. Did. Do. 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 Did. Drink. Did. Drank. Drink. Drink. Drive. Drove. Right. Drove. Right. Drove. Eat. Ate. Eat. Ate. Ate. Get. Got. Got. Get. Got. Go. Went. Went. Go. Oh. Went. Have. Had. 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 Make. Made. Made. Make. Made. Put. 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 Read. 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 Said. See. Saw. See. Saw. See. Saw. Saw. Take. Took. 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 Think. Thought. Think. Thought. Write. Wrote. Wrote. Okay. So, uh, write in the past is wrote. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta con este vocabulario? 
or any question about the pronunciation? Do you have any question? No questions. No? No, oh. teacher. No questions. Okay, so we're going to move on. Yes? What's the pronunciation of the past of think? Think? Think, recuerde. Zaragoza. Think. That. That. Think. That. The pronunciation is that. Uh huh. Yes, oh. very good. Oh. That. The pronunciation is that. Oh. That. That. That's the pronunciation. That. That. Do you have uh, more questions about pronunciation or not? It's okay. Huh? No questions Teacher. about. Yes. Eh, ¿Sí? La pronunciación de think and pass. Think that. Think, think. think that. Think is that. The pronunciation, the think, ¿verdad? De pensar. Mm, mm, no. Mm -hmm. Sí. Yes. Sí. Think is think. Uh, that. 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 Yes. Think okay. that. Okay. That. La pronunciación es that. That. Yes. That. Okay. Como que inicia con S, teacher. Ajá, es que como que se va a decir la Z, ¿verdad? La Z de Zaragoza. Ajá. Uh -huh. Think that. Think that. Ajá. Yes. that. that. Ajá. Como que se va a decir una, la Z de Zaragoza. Think. Recuerda. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. yes. Eh, eh, read. Um, pass. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Read. Read es red. En pasado es red. Aunque read. se escriba igual. Aunque se escriba igual. Se escriba igual. Aunque se escriba igual. En presente es read. En pasado es red. En pasado red. simple pass is red. Yes. Okay. More questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? ¿Tienen más preguntas? No questions. No. Okay, so we're going to move on. So remember, right? By, but. Se pueden agrupar como por los que son como similares. Los que son como similares, entonces se pueden, y así se los puede aprender más fácil. Ahí le mandé un listado, me acuerdo. Ayer o antier, no me acuerdo. Pero you already have a, a list of the verbs according with groups. According with the groups, you have a list of the verbs. Okay. Pero no, ajá, bueno, está listo. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the to this exercise about what's your neighborhood like about the unique number eight. Now we are gonna change a little bit the the, the, the what topic. Now, so you have a what's your neighborhood like? Now, in this case, what is the meaning of like? So in this case, if, for example, if I ask you the question, what's your neighborhood like? What is the answer for what's your neighborhood like? Uh -huh. What is the answer? Come on, respond them. My neighborhood is. My neighborhood is. Nice. Is small. Is big. Right? My neighborhood is. Uh -huh. Now, for example, I ask you the question uh, What is uh, Chalatenango like? Chalatenango is cold. It's cool. What is El Salvador? El Salvador is a small country. El Salvador is a small country, right? Okay, it's clear what is the meaning of uh, like? This one is not to love. Ese no es love, ¿verdad? En este caso no lo estamos utilizando como el verbo love. Lo estamos utilizando es en cómo es tu vecindario. Neighbor, this one is the person. Neighbor. Y hasta la letra, hasta la letra R. Neighbor is the person. And you have a neighborhood vecindario, ¿verdad? Neighborhood vecindario. Neighbor, vecino, neighborhood vecindario. Okay, so, uh -huh. do you have uh, more questions about this? For example, what is Honduras like? Honduras is bigger than El Salvador, right? Honduras is bigger than El Salvador. Okay, so uh, match the words and the definitions. What's a barbershop? It's a place where you, so you have to join this, what's a barbershop? So, and then you have a, and then you have a, it's a place where you, what do you do in a barbershop? 
Letter D. Letter D, perfect. Okay, it's a place where you, letter D, get a haircut. Tenemos la T entre, entre dos vocales, ¿verdad? Get a haircut. Leather, what letter is? Letter D. D. Letter D. Okay, yeah. letter D, give me a second. Letter D, excellent, very good. Now, what about grocery store? A grocery store is a place where you, what letter is the grocery store? Letter B. Letter B, you buy food, yes, very good. You buy food in a, in a, in a grocery store, letter B. No le escribí, ah, como no. Okay, now laundromat. What is a laundromat? What's a laundromat? It's a place where you wash your A. Dry clothes. Uh -huh. Letter A. Okay, letter A. Wash right. and dry clothes, right? Letter A. Now, and what about a number four? Library. Letter G. 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 Letter G, library, letter G. This one, borrow books. Yes, library is biblioteca, right? Letter G, borrow books. Is a, what about a feeder? What letter is feeder? Uh -huh. Uh, what is the feeder? Uh huh. Letter E. Okay, letter, sorry? E. Letter E, yes, excellent, right? Feeder is letter E. Now, what about travel agency? What is travel agency? Mm -hmm. uh, letter F. Letter F, excellent, <laughs> very good. Letter F, right? And what about number five, a stationary store? What letter is the last C. one, a stationary store? C. Letter C. Letter, letter what? Letter C. C. Letter C, right? So letter C. Excellent, very good. Nice. So what's a barber shop? Uh, you have a the letter D. What's a grocery store? It's a place where you buy food and so on, right? Okay, excellent. Okay, now what is a drugstore? What is the what is a pharmacy? What is a drugstore? You can say drugstore or you can say pharmacy. The difference is the pharmacy is from British English. Pharmacy is from British, and drugstore is a... Uh, ajá, uh -huh, no me deje escribir esta cosa. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Droguería. Uh, yes, uh -huh. pharmacy, right? Pharmacy, yes. So, but pharmacy is from British, and drugstore is from American. Now, what is a, what is a drugstore? What is a pharmacy? It's a place where you, what? What can you do in a drugstore? Or what do you do in a drugstore? Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh -huh. What can you do in a drugstore? You can buy medicine. Uh -huh. You can buy medicine, excellent, right? It's a place where you can buy medicine. It's a place, for example, clothing store, like a department store. It's a place where you find new fashions, clothing store, right? Okay, that's nice, very good. Uh, Karina, it says. Okay, Karina, no problem. I understand. I understand about the signal that it's missing, right? Okay, so, uh huh. So we are going to move on. <clears throat> okay, you are going to listen. Okay, what is the title? What is the title that you have here? The title of the conversation. Okay, what is the title? This. Can you read this, please? Volunteer to read this. Me escuchan. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, I'm your new, your yes, new yo what? No yo no aprecio que la pantalla, teacher. Perdón. No sé. Yo no aprecio bien la letra de la pantalla. Sí, ni yo tampoco. No, es que se ve borroso. Okay, give me a second, please. I'm gonna share it again. Tal vez señal. A todos eh, les aparece borroso. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now? Por momentos. Now, better. Okay. Tal vez es la, la señal, ¿verdad? Okay, so, you are going to listen this, and you are going to tell me what you listen. Me, ahorita les va a aparecer negro porque estoy buscando el audio. <coughs> Permítanme. Give me a second. It's the unit number eight, right? Okay. Ah, oh, no, este. 
Ajá. Page 50, Exercise 2, Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Okay, listen, only listen. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are okay. some. What did you listen? ¿Qué escuchó? What did you listen? Uh -huh. a new neighbor. Your new neighbor, right? Your and neighbor. Uh-huh. Your new neighbor. I, I look in to the store. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent, very good. Now continue listening. I'm on Pine Street. Oh, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, what did you listen at the end? ¿Qué escuchó al final? There are barber, barber shop in the shopping center. A barber shop in the shopping center. A shopping center. What the way? Across, across uh -huh. from the shopping. Across from the shopping. Very good. Excellent. That's nice. Now listen one more time and read. You are going to read, right? Okay. Looks like a Luisito Comunica, right? Listen. Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50, exercise 2, conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, you have over there a question with vocabulary or questions with pronunciation. Do you have any question with pronunciation or vocabulary? No. No. Teacher, este, um, sí. Sí, en la imagen. Ah, yes. Okay. Eh, neighbor. Exactamente. Neighbor. Así es. Vecino. Ese es vecino. Neighbor. The pronunciation is, is neighbor. 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 Okay. Okay, neighbor, right? Neighbor. The pronunciation. L -l laundromat. Laundromat. Lavandería. Laundromat, right? Laundromat. He has all the all he has the the dirty clothes, right? The laundromat for the laundromat, and he has long hair. Tiene cabello largo, por eso ya le dice hay una barbería. <laughs> By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. So you have excuse me and your new neighbor Jack. I just moved in. Oh yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. He said, by the way, le dice, por cierto, hay una barbería, una peluquería en el centro comercial también. Y él le pregunta, una barbería, le dice. Pero ella le está diciendo una barbería porque lo ve peludo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. okay, so uh, more questions with vocabulary or pronunciation, no? No questions? No. Now you are going to practice in the breakup room this conversation. Vamos a practicar la conversación en el breakup room. Espérenme. Uh, estoy buscando la imagen, a ver si la encuentro aquí. Pero creo que no. Okay, let me see. Just give me a second. Give me a second. No, está... Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna send it to the WhatsApp group as well. Okay, give me a second. Ahí está. So in the WhatsApp group, you are going to have the conversation. No se ve tan tan bien, pero okay. Este ahí vamos. Now the the breakup rooms. So.
So, break up rooms. Espero que no lo saque por la señal, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. Okay. Create. About four. About. Uy. Ok, ahí va. So, uh, let's see. Uh -huh. eh, Karina Beatriz Núñez, si quiere, si gusta, se queda. Para, para, que, porque, para que practique sí, aquí, sí no lo va a hacer que la saque. Los demás, sí, eh, me voy a quedar, ver, no así más. que me saque. Uh -huh. Ok, sí, porque como, uh -huh, por la señal, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, the breakout rooms are open, so you have to move the breakout rooms. También allí me aparece, your internet, your internet connection is unstable. ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, that's nice, very good. Ya me decía que el internet estaba fallando. Ok, so, uh, so Karina, este, stay here. A mí me está fallando bastante la señal. It's ok, so it's ok, don't worry. A Jaime creo que se quedó solo. A él lo voy a tener que mover al room number, number four. Oops, one, two, three, four. No veo. ¿A dónde mande al pobre Jaime? Okay, so, okay, over there. Uh, so you're gonna practice the conversation, right? Okay, practice the conversation in your groups. Now, here we have a uh, Karina. ¿Quién, ¿Quién puede practicar con Karina? Okay, eh, Imelda, no sé si ahora sí le funciona el pruebe, a ver. Ah, vaya, teacher, okay. La dificultad yes. que tengo es que la letra no se ve. Ah, okay, ahorita. Okay, espérame. <laughs> Ok, vaya. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Lo veo borroso. Eh, sí, borroso, pero también está el cuadrito negro. Ah, ajá, es el cuadrito negro, son ustedes. Espérame, quiero ver cómo lo hago más grande. Es que lo no que. No sé por qué yo no he podido borroso, visto todo el rato la pantalla. Ajá, ha de ser la señal lo más seguro. Ahorita se ve bien borroso. Sí, como lo hice más grande. Ahí parece que mejoró. Vale. Ok. Now, so Karina is Jack. Eh, Imelda, no, no lo ve. No, teacher, es que yo no, yo no, no veo nada, solo veo la. No, o sea, no se aprecia la letra. Es su señal, es entonces. Es su señal. Ok, ¿va ahora? Hoy sí he tenido, ahora sí he tenido problemas con la señal. No, ahora no veo nada. Y está el cuadrito negro. <risa> Ay, espérenme, quiero ver. Ok, give me a second. Hemos tomado agua en ese tiempo. Ok, so Imelda me escucha. Sí, teacher. Ok, so Imelda, yo algo no vi. Ahora lo ve, este, Karina. Está la pantalla de inglés. Ahorita sí, pero. Más o menos. Fíjese, teacher, que... Sí, teacher, fíjese que yo, quizás por la señal, no. no logro yo lo veo súper bien. Sí. Y en el WhatsApp no lo puede hacer, no lo puede hacer más grande. En el WhatsApp. A ver, ir al WhatsApp. Déjeme entrar al WhatsApp. Permítame. Ok. Sí, búscala en el WhatsApp. Para mientras va a practicar Imelda y va a practicar Nelson. Nelson es Jack e Imelda Mrs. Day. Ok. Ya, ya. Ok, okay teacher. Okay. Excuse me, and your new neighbor Jack just move it in. Huh? Oh yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Huh? Thank you. By the way. way, there is a barber, a barber, a barber shop in the shopping center too. Mm -hmm. A barber shop. Ah, very good. A barber shop, right? Hoy sí ya lo ve, Karina, o no, todavía no. Sí, ahora sí, dice. Ya, ya, okay. en WhatsApp. Ok, that's nice, very good. Ajá, se ve mejor en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, okay, sí. Vamos a, vamos a ver. Entonces, eh, Karina, you're going to practice 
You are going to be Mrs. Day. ¿Y quién puede ser Ricardo? Ah, no, no, no. Eh, tiene la L, 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 L. So, ok, Nelson. So, Nelson, you are going to be Mrs. Day. Y Karina empieza. Karina es Jack. Ok. Ok. Excuse me. And your new neighbor, Jack, I just moving. Moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a car store. Are there any are there any around here? Huh? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. What? Perdón, perdón, perdón. Que cerré los break rooms. Okay, sorry. Uh -huh. Va. Se ve, ¿verdad? Ah, yes. no, si usted está del WhatsApp, está del WhatsApp, Karina, no me acuerdo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me he quedado con yes. <ríe> ok. ¿Quién se quedó? ¿Quién sigue? Sigue usted. Yo le, yo le, va, lo voy a volver a repetir. Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Excelente, Nelson. Uh -huh. Sí. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat? Laundromat. New here. New here. Well, I seem there's one across for the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? A barber shop, right? <laughs> A barbershop, y él no entiende por qué le dice una barbería, a barbershop. Y es because for the hair, right? Because he has long hair, that's the reason why. Okay, that's me. Yes. Okay, now here you have uh, the pronunciation. So you have a, you can say shopping center or you can say also shopping center. Puede decirlo shopping center o shopping center. Oh, no shopping center, okay. Yes, by the way es por cierto, por cierto, by the way, por cierto, ¿verdad? Mm, okay, that's it, right? Creo que no hay más, más palabras nuevas. ¿sí? Now, here you have a, lo que le explicaba ayer, ¿verdad? The grammar focus. You are going to listen this. You're going to listen the grammar focus. Give me a second. Page 51, exercise 3. Grammar focus. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Espérame, lo voy a... Hacer más grande para que lo vea. Y este lo voy a, voy a detenerle el sharing en alguna sharing again. Porque some of you has problem with the signal. So give me a second. Vaya. Ahora espero que sí lo pueda ver bien. Now, listen. Page 51, exercise 3. Grammar focus. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't. But there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to, near, close to, across from, across from? opposite, opposite. Right. In, front of, in front of, in back of, in back of. Behind. behind, between, between. between. On, the corner of. on the corner of, right? Okay, now the prepositions. Repeat in your on house. The the preposition repeating your houses, the prepositions on, mm -hmm. next to, next to, next to, near, near, near. close to, close, close, to. close to. across from, across from, from. Opposite. opposite, opposite, in front of, in front, in front of, of. In back. Okay, excellent. In back up. In back, in in back, back up. up. Behind. Behind. Okay, excellent. Very good. Uh, between. 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 On, uh -huh. On the corner of. On, On the, the corner, corner of. of. Uh -huh. 
Okay, very good, excellent, excellent. Now, so you have there is and there are. There is is for singular, and there are is for plural, right? For the negative is there isn't. There isn't is the negative, and there aren't is the negative of there are. There aren't. But I said the pregunta for asking the question, so you have to move is and are at the beginning, right? Is there is the question. Are there is the question, right? Is there, are there is the question. Okay, now, uh, so the short answer is, is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Singular, if there is for singular, there are for plural. Now, you can use any and some. What is the difference between any and some? Cuando usamos any y cuando usamos some? Uh -huh. Any is for positive or for negative? Question. Negative. Ne negative. Negative, negative, right? For negative, negative and also for questions. And some is for positive, for positive, uh, for positive uh, or affirmative sentences and for questions también. Okay, so, pero algo no. significa lo mismo. Sí, so, nos puede dar un ejemplo. For example, you have the, the RN, there aren't any banks in this street. There aren't, there aren't any, negative, mm -hmm. negative mm -hmm. sentence, there aren't any bank in this street, right? Now mm -hmm. in, with some, there are some supermarkets on, on, the, uh, on, the, on the street. There are mm -hmm. some supermarkets on the street, right? So also mm -hmm. you have here, for example, there are some nice stores on Pine Street. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's a affirmative sentence, a positive sentence. Now the negative is, uh, for example, no, there aren't any around here. Okay. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't the negative. There aren't any around here. Okay, and we okay. use one for a, don't say the name of the place. For example, is there a laundromat near here? Yeah, there is, there is one across from. There is one across from. Uh, is there a laundromat near here? No, there isn't, but there is one next to the library. And the city lugar is almost one. Okay, do you have questions with vocabulary? Hmm? Huh? Uh -huh. No, no questions. No question. No question. Okay. No question. Okay, so, okay, very good. So, uh huh. Okay, now we're going to move on. So, I'm going to skip this because you already do it. Okay, now, reduction of the risk and there are the contraction for, right? So, you can say there's and the, the, the risk. There is there's. And there are, there are. There are, right? There, there are. There are. Vaya, right, solo me voy a mover. Ah, esto, los complaints. Okay, creo que esto sí lo va a ver algo por... <laughs> okay, I have a chat here from one of your classmates. Okay, and Blanca Estela, uh, Blanca Stephanie. Okay, I understand, no problem, Blanca. Understand, Blanca. Okay. A veces me cuesta contestarles a todos porque varios mandan WhatsApp. Now, common complaints about neighbors. Common, common complaints about neighbors. Complaints, what is the meaning of complaints? Ver la imagen o la vuelvo a cargar la imagen. Está bien, Tisha. Ahí se ve bien. Complicaciones, no. Complaints. Okay. Eh, son quejas. Ajá. Quejas. quejas comunes sobre sus vecinos. Okay, so you have here noise, right? You have the noise. Okay, so, wait a minute. So, my neighbor's dog, my neighbor's dog barks all night. My neighbor's dog barks all night. Barks. El perro de mi vecino ladra toda la noche. Eso significa barks. Barks all night. Yes, barks. This one. Barks all night. My neighbor always listen to loud music. My neighbor always always listen to loud music. Do you have any question with this vocabulary? 
Sí se ve bien, no lo ven borroso porque lo hice más grande. Se ve bien, teacher. Hoy lo veo bien. Ah, okay. About the noise, sobre el ruido. Ok, barks is wow, wow, wow. Right, that's, that's not. That's bark. Clean, cleanliness. Cleanliness about the dirty, about the garbage. My neighbor puts his garbage in the hole, in the corridor. The hole is the corridor, right? My neighbor puts his garbage in the hole. There are always shoes outside my door. There are always shoes outside my outside my door. Do you have any question with this vocabulary about the cleanliness complaint? Questions? No. What is the meaning of hole? Hole is corridor. Is a pasillo en los apartamentos. Okay. okay. Now privacy. What about the privacy? My neighbor's kids visit every day. It's too much. My neighbor always asks me for things. Mi vecina siempre me pide cosas, por cosas. Okay, so my neighbor's kids visit every day. It's too much. Question with this situation? Question with the vocabulary? No question. Okay, now in the last one, what about pets? Pets, las mascotas. My neighbor's cats go everywhere. My neighbor's cats go everywhere. Right, uh, my In neighbor everywhere. has huh? everywhere. Everywhere, it's for all the places. All the places around. Los cats de mi vecino van donde sea. Por todas partes es everywhere. My neighbor has six dogs. My neighbor has six dogs. It's like a zoo, right? It's like a zoo. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any question? No question. Okay. Okay, now. So, okay. So, okay, so uh, what about you? Do you have any of these complaints? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, dígame. A cuesta. Yes. Eh, ahí en la última que dijo, my neighbor has six uh -huh. dogs, creo que dijo dogs, no sé cómo es que decía. Uh -huh. Y después dice, it's like a zoo. Eh, si like es de gustar, porque en el significado dice es como un zoológico. Ah, porque like no solo significa gustar, like, eh, like, eh, like, en este caso, esto es como Parece un zoológico, bien. este es como un zoológico, así como a la pregunta, es que algunas veces like funciona como la palabra como, <ríe> valga la redundancia, entonces like aparte de gustar es también como, entonces cómo vas a ver cuándo es como y cuándo vas es gustar por el contexto, por ejemplo, esto es ¿Gustar un zoológico? No. Esto es como un zoológico, ¿verdad? O sea que cuando usted ve like así, como aparte de otro verbo, entonces usted, ah, este está aparte de otro verbo, dice usted. El verbo principal es his. Entonces, like no es el verbo principal. Entonces, usted va a saber que es como. También, <coughs> también cuando, usted ve, cuando usted ve like, por ejemplo, el tema de ahora, what's your neighborhood like? ¿Cómo es tu vecindario? Al final, cuando tiene like al final, significa también como. Por ejemplo, ¿Cómo es eh, María like? What's María like? ¿Cómo es María? Allí no le estoy diciendo qué es María gustar. No, ¿verdad? Allí le estoy diciendo cómo es María. Entonces también cuando usted ve like al final o en, en, o en medio, así como lo ve ahorita, usted tiene dos opciones. Uh, ¿Lo traduce como gustar o lo traduce como cómo? ¿Ok? Uh -huh. En este caso es como un zoológico. It's like a zoo. Mi vecino tiene seis perros. Es como un zoológico. It's like a zoo. Ok. So, ok. Now, it's pretty safe. Allí, es algo hay, complicado, hay un, ¿verdad? Tique? Un poquito. Es de que solamente le agarre, ¿cómo se llama? El, el, el significado, digamos así. Huh? Now, it's pretty safe. You're going to listen. Teacher, uh, este, yes? ese, este like nunca se va a utilizar para preguntar, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? O sea, ¿cómo de pregunta? ¿Cómo no? Ah, no, no, no. Por eso tenemos el how. Yes. 
Uh -huh. How es como, ajá, para de pregunta. Es how. como solamente como para, no sé, este, pero, observación o algo así. Ajá, como, no, pero por ejemplo, si usted hace, si usted hace esta pregunta, por ejemplo, what's, espérenme, lo voy a hacer más negrito, más grande, what's eh, Honduras like, por ejemplo, Honduras like. Ahí le estoy preguntando cómo es Honduras, ¿verdad? What's Honduras like? ¿Cómo es Honduras? Uh -huh. What's San Miguel like? It's hot. San Miguel is re it's really hot. What's it's very San hot. Miguel? Yes, right? Uh, for example, uh, what's your mother like? What's your mother like? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando ahí? ¿Cómo es tu ma mamá? ¿Cómo es tu mamá? What's your brother What's like? What's your my sister mother like? like, like my mother like es like mi ah, mamá es como yo que, my mother o sea que is si like digo me. how es María no es correcto si yo digo how es como how es sí, como. como la palabra how significa como ¿verdad? ¿Mm? Okay. ¿Mm? sí ¿y cuál es lo que quiere decir? solo no, no se, se, la palabra how es como por ejemplo how are you ah pero si yo dijera how is María ¿cómo es María? no, no va a How sí. is María? No, ahí está diciendo, eh, no, en este, eh, no, esta, bueno, por decirlo así, usted quiere preguntar, eh, ¿cómo es María? No se ¿Cómo entiende, es la actitud? Así que ya, ¿cómo es María? ¿Cómo es la actitud de María? ¿Cómo es físicamente María? Entonces, allí tiene que utilizar esta frase que estoy poniendo arriba. What's María like? No, porque si a un gringo usted le dice, how is María, no le va a entender. Entonces, usted tiene que adaptarse a las frases que ellos tienen, a las frases especiales, así como usted, tenemos frases especiales en español. Por ejemplo, what is Mary oh, like? Yeah. Ajá. Entonces, yeah. ¿cómo es María? Se dice, what what's Mary Mary like? like? What's Mary like? No puede decir, how is María? Ese yeah. no existe. No existe uh -huh. en inglés. Dicha, y en este caso podemos responder, is like. She is like, sí, se puede responder. How is María? Eso no existe. María, how's María? Esto, esta pregunta no, no la entendería un gringo. How's María? Dice, ¿ok? <risa> o, oh, how are you? How is, how is he? Aquí, aquí está, está le preguntando que, eh, ¿se entiende? Se sobreentendería que cómo está ella, cómo está ella. She's good, she's fine. No le está preguntando por descripción física. Oh. Aquí le está preguntando de que si ella está bien. How's María? Y este, la respuesta, por ejemplo, la respuesta de el, este, what's Maria like, entonces allí sí podemos poner she Ay. is, uy, ya me acabó la hora, she is, like. okay, she is like, she is, no, allí solamente sería she is serious, ella es seria, she is serious, what's Maria like, she is serious, ella es seria, uh -huh. Pero si, por ejemplo, she is, sería beautiful, she's pretty, she's, she's pretty. pretty. Ah, she's pretty. A menos que usted quisiera decir, ella es como yo, she's like me, ella es como yo. O she is like my mother, ella es como mi mamá. She is like my mother. Ahí es como mi mamá. She's, la, she's like my mother. Ok. You're welcome. I have a message from Carla Gabriela. What is Maria like? Uh -huh. So that's the question. What is, what's Maria like or what is Maria like? Now, listen the conversation. Así rapidito. La siguiente conversación. Y no la tengo. <laughs> Vamos a ver si es esta. Page 53, exercise 8. Conversation. It's pretty safe. Listen and practice. Okay, lo leo yo solo. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, now, 
So do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Do you have any questions? Eh, ¿Lo escuchó? ¿Sí lo escuchó? Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes. Ok, ¿lo puede ver bien? Yes. Más o menos. <laughs> ok, listen one more time the pronunciation. Listen. Page 53, exercise 8, conversation. It's pretty safe. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, do you have questions uh, about this vocabulary? Do you have any question? No. Teacher, eh, es el final, lo dice all on, all on, ¿cómo se Hold on. Hold, hold on, on es espérate. Hold on es espérese. Espérate o espérese. Yes, hold on. 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 No me va a decir hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's hold on. Yes. Okay. So you have how do you like your new apartment, right? How do you like your new apartment? I love it. La vez se viene con la verdad. I love it. Okay. I love it. It's downtown. Está en el centro. So it's very convenient. La pronunciación, la pronunciación is convenient. Convenient. Este como una I. Es una I. Convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? No hay mucho ruido. Es pregunta, ¿verdad? ¿Hay mucho ruido? No, there isn't any. No hay nada. I live on, se une la B con el on, ¿verdad? I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? ¿Cuántos restaurantes hay allí cerca de tu lugar? <clears throat> A lot, varios, muchos. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about, la tienda de vocales, como una R, what about parking? Well, there are many parking garages. But I, en la tienda de vocales, I usually find a place on the street. Okay? Pero yo solamente encuentro un lugar en la calle. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call you back later. Ese es mi alarma de carro, ¿verdad? I call you back later. Ya no pude revisar las tareas porque ya se fue el tiempo. Teacher, uh, es la contracción de... Sí, I'll es la contracción, Carlos Adolfo, I'll es la contracción de I will. ¿Ok? Para mañana voy a revisar las tareas porque ya no me quedó sinceramente tiempo y ya se me fue la hora. Ok, ok, Carlos. Ahí le voy a tomar captura de pantalla a, a ustedes. Este, entonces, para... Este, ¿Cómo se llama? Para, eh, present, teacher. Para la asistencia. Present, very good. Excellent. That's nice, María Wendy. <laughs> I know that you're present. So I, 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 ya le tomé la captura de pantalla. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about your, your participation. Okay, so yeah. if you have no, the homework, no, no, no. the homework for tomorrow, uh, the homework for tomorrow is uh, to talk about your childhood, right? Tomorrow you're going to talk okay. about your childhood. Mañana va a hablar sobre su niñez, así como el cuadrito blanco que les mandé. Good evening, decía good evening, right? Good evening, everyone. I am going to talk about my childhood. I was shy. I was short. I was, uh, yeah, and you describe your childhood using the verb to be, okay? So do you have any question about that? Ah, y las dos oraciones que le dije, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Hola. Mañana. Yes, tomorrow. Okay. Eh, 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 ¿Qué le voy a explicar? Yes. Eh, rapidito, este mañana viernes vamos a tener clases porque este inglés corporativo quiere terminar rápido y por eso les está pidiendo que avancen más rápido con lo de la plataforma. Creo que Isafor, este, como está haciendo el cambio de institución, la otra institución lo va a absorber 
Debido a eso es que ellos, cuando ya termina el módulo, ellos solamente tienen tres días para chequear que usted haya terminado la plataforma. Entonces, eh, por eso es que van como tipo así rápido. Entonces, mañana hay clase. Sorry, ni modo. <ríe> ok, este, entonces... Eh, es... El día de mañana yo no me voy a conectar como oyente, no voy a poder participar porque nosotros tenemos negocio y me toca estar en el negocio. Ah, está bien, María, no problem. It's okay, María. Ok, so see you tomorrow. Ok, espero que se pueda unir. Ok, see you tomorrow. Okay. Take care, do the homework, do sí. the platform. See you tomorrow, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, eh, Carlos Adolfo. Bye Good bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>